everybody Ann here. I woke up at about 4 a.m. and <sighs> I decided to have some scrambled eggs and sausage. I made some coffee and it's still dark. Uh, I think it's around just before 7 a.m. right now. And I crawled back in bed because I'm tired. And any minute now, the rain and the wind and the hail and whatever else is going to start coming. So... I'm just going to snuggle up in my covers. Today is going to be an indoor day. So you know what? Right now, I want to show you some beautiful footage I took of my neighbor, Mr. Lucas. His beautiful, beautiful Bradford pear trees out front. He's so proud of them. So here, take a look at these while I'm trying to wake up a little bit. I just wanted to show you the beautiful view from Mr. Lucas' house. Look at these Bradford pear trees. They are in full bloom just absolutely gorgeous look at that look how beautiful they are i wish this, it was a little bit sunnier i'm not even sure if you can hear me talking right now look how gorgeous it is beautiful beautiful i love sitting on my porch and looking at these trees here let me get it from the other angle this is what it looks like from my angle over here. This one's not as full. Sure is pretty. Here, let me jump over this culvert. Yikes. There we go. Look at how beautiful they are. Mr. Lucas sure is proud of his bread for pear trees. Gorgeous. Red birds, gay birds, Look at all those birds underneath that tree. Mr. Lucas feeds them quite a bit. So, Mr. Lucas, tell me about your pear trees. About what? Your pear trees. I put them out, they weren't big as my little finger when I moved out here 10 years ago, 11, well, 10, 11 years ago. And now that's how big they are. Did you have to do anything special to get them to grow? Nope. They look Put purple. Them out and they, they grew. They're gorgeous. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Yep, so I finally woke up and I have got my coffee and uh, just trying to figure out how I'm not going to go stark raving mad today because it is raining. It's kind of calmed down a little bit, but it's been raining since 7 a.m. And Papa, Papa, he's right there. <laughs> he does not, does not like going outside in the rain to, to do his business, but... He did do it. He did do it, thank goodness, huh? because I don't want him doing it inside here on the floor. Anyway, isn't Mr. Lucas' property beautiful? I just love looking out every day and seeing those beautiful trees and his lawn. It's starting to get green. It'll get greener and greener and greener. And uh, hopefully someday he'll be able to look out at my property and feel the same way. Uh, but he's been here for 11 years and I've just been here for one so I've got a lot more work to do. You know what? I want to turn that bottom part down by the street into an orchard with actual fruit trees. Um, my mom and dad said that they want to plant an apple tree for me. And I think you're supposed to plant two if you want to actually get fruit. So they said that they would buy me one and I'm going to buy another one. But I would love to have some of those big, beautiful flowering 
pear trees they don't produce fruit but they make those beautiful flowers and just start them off small and watch them grow could you imagine how awesome that would be mr lucas being able to look across the street to my land to my land and i can't talk and um be able to see those beautiful trees out there anyways um, i'm looking at this uh mushroom kit i'm gonna get that started today i haven't even I mean, I've opened the incubator box, but I haven't put it together, read the instructions or anything, because I've been researching more online on how to select the right eggs, um, how to just basically how to hatch your own chicks. So before I even start thinking about hatching chicks out or putting this together, I'm going to know what I need to know before we put the first egg in there. So that's going to happen. I think... I think it would be best if we don't even try to start it for another month because we don't want it to be too cold. And we're, we've are we got a few weeks where it's not going to be frigid cold anymore, but it's going to drop down in temperature and trying to keep the chicks warm and a little brooder. Yeah, I'm going to put it inside the tiny house just like last time. Anyhow, um, I don't know. I, I just need to figure out what I'm going to do today because it's raining all day. The chickens are up in the band coop. I've got all the windows open and they've been squawking up a storm out there, so... I'll go check on them later and try and keep them inside because it is just too nasty outside. They're just going to have to spend the day inside the coop because I don't want them free ranging. You know, God knows what could happen to them out there today. Um, and it's been coming down really hard periodically. So anyhow, I'm going to finish my coffee and figure out what I'm going to do. I just didn't have the heart to keep them inside that coop all day. So it stopped raining for a little bit. I've thrown some nummies out, some treats for them you know underneath the covered area so it doesn't get all damp and look the chia seeds and flax seeds probably too are starting to sprout I don't know if you can see them down there but yeah I'm gonna leave them out I'm gonna watch them real close make sure usually one leghorn will fly out and look they gave me six beautiful eggs today nice big brown one I don't think that's big enough to be a double yoker but it's nice big egg so <laughs> Yep, girls and boy, you get to be out for just a little bit. Look at you. Y'all were making all that noise. Hello, Coco. Hi, Coco. <laughs> Pretty chicken. Yep, I'm doing laundry, you guys, with rainwater. I got my little thing set up out here. It's going to work great. I just need to kind of stir it around. I've just been using this. Can you believe it? It's clean and agitating. And look at all that dirt coming out of those clothes. Oh my gosh. It's awful. I wear my clothes way too long. So hopefully these will all come clean today and then I can hang them out to dry tomorrow. I'm letting this drain and I should have brought my tripod out so I could do this with two hands. But you can see this thing rings like crazy what i need is a basket to put down here <laughs> to catch the the clothes that are drying oh and i can see i need to adjust this you can adjust this so it angles this way a little bit more so the water doesn't come down this way but i'm not going to do that today i'm just going to get this done as much as i can so let me just do this one and then i'm going to put the pants through and see how they go through it's starting to sprinkle so i'm going to do this quickly uh, yeah, this is going to be a problem. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this with one hand because i got to pull from one end. Yeah, I'm going to have to pull. But this thing is working great. I think, actually, I can tighten it up a little bit more to wring out more water. But let me just get this done, and I'll talk to you later. I just got done doing the laundry, and i got to tell you, that hand wringer that's covered up with clothes right now, I just got them up there right now until I set up my rack, and I'm going to set it up outside. I know it's too too wet out here for them to dry but that's okay they'll dry tomorrow that hand wringer makes doing laundry so much fun oh it is totally a huge game changer i don't know if you can see those white socks over there they got some little frayed parts of, of the black but the white part it got so clean those socks have never been as clean and that's because i'm able to wring stuff out and get all that yucky water out of it the hardest part was doing these. Really hard to get them through the wringer. I have to adjust it, um, you know, and bring the springs up a little bit so I can fit it through because these have buttons and pockets and layers, but everything else was super easy. So, yeah, thank you, you guys. You lovely, lovely ladies who got me this beautiful hand wringer.
I'm so happy I got laundry done today. That hand wringer is awesome. So Mr. Lucas invited me over for dinner at about 4 p.m. today. His lovely daughter-in-law, Selena, is cooking something delicious and I can't wait. So it's not supposed to really start raining really hard again until about 6 p.m. So hopefully I'll be able to make it back before that all happens. But it has gotten pretty windy out here, but so far nothing has been blown over. The solar panels are still up. The one off to the right of me, that's just propped up with that little piece of wood. It has not blown down yet so and the the uh, clear tarp over the greenhouse has not blown away the chicken yard tarp is not blown away so ah, I think my prayers have been answered anyway that's all I got for you guys today see you in the next video <laughs>